Hey, I didn't see you there. I was enjoying this groove over here. You might recognize it. Listen. That's the uh, Eagles, baby. Hotel California, but it's being done in a little bit of groovy uh, Spanish guitar style. We're having fun. I'm listening to like some groovy music in here because I was told to have fun, and I always do what I'm told. That's right. Welcome back to Sinks to Sink. I'm your host, DJ Mac. Don't forget, you can always catch us on SinksToSinkTV.com. That's the website to hook you up. Sponsors, if you want to sponsor, you need information about sponsorship, that's the website you go to to get all the information. Contact my producer, and then you will be in business with us. All right? Now, as we move into our next uh, segment here, uh, some time ago we did an interview with a young man by the name of Eddie Vance, all the way from England. He's a Kazumba dance instructor. We have... Uh, our first video clip of that interview for you. Following that interview, we have our second video of the evening, and it's being brought to you by Princess Ud and Dead Crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the third video of the evening. My bad. I can't count. Third video of the evening, Princess Ud and Dead Crazy. La jeune femme and his pouvoir and then slashed Jupam. I think it's like two videos together, but we don't know. Let's check it out. Uh, Princess Eard and Dead Crazy. Thanks to Sync TV. Come back to the show. On my left, your right, because you out there in TV land, I have Eddie Vance. Eddie Vance. Hi. Welcome to the show. And the lovely Mena. Hi. Welcome to the show, guys. And these guys are Ki Zomba. Dance instructors, Kizomba dance instructors. Now, first thing I'm going to ask you right off the back, uh, where are you from, Eddie? Hi, I'm Eddie Vance, and I'm actually from Guinea-Bissau, which is a small country in Africa, coast of Africa. We were colonized by Portuguese, and that's it. I, w I was born in Guinea, I was raised in Portugal, and now I live in England. You live in England now. How, how did that happen? How did you go from there <laughs> to, uh, to uh, England? Life. Yeah, because my parents migrated from Haiti uh, to here. So was it a migration thing that your parents left? Yes, from Guinea to Cabo Verde, yes, because, uh, to, to Portugal, sorry. Because, again, we were colonized. And with decolonization, most of African from my country, from Angola, from Mozambique, from San Tomé, they immigrate to Portugal. Excellent. And Mena, what's, what's your background? Where are you from? I am Brazilian, and I live in Florida for 16 years. 16 years? Wow. I, well, I've been here for 20 years, and I, I'm, I'm Haitian. Actually, more than 20 years. I've been here over 20 years. I don't know exactly. I have to calculate, but definitely. And um, how, did you, how did you end up here from Brazil? Um, I think, like everybody else, I decided to conquer a dream. Uh huh. And that's why we came to Florida. You, did you come here when you were little, or you? No, um, sixteen years ago. Six, it wasn't so you were like a teenager. Kind of well, teenager. That's what I mean, like when you are a teenager and everything like that. All right. So um, I want to ask you guys a little bit about what we're going to be talking about mainly, but just give me a, a little tidbit of how did you get involved teaching, or how did you get involved with kazumba, kizumba? Um, I have been a dancer for a long time. Uh huh. But Kizomba, that's one of the dance just um, I fall in love because of the language mm -hmm. and the feeling. The feeling when you dance is different. So for me, I feel more like, um, I think more because of the language. It's more like a Portuguese. I speak Portuguese, so the language that's the one attracts me the most and the way you dance. Yeah, it's a very sensual uh, slow, n well not slow, but uh, I would say more sensual. It's more sensual than slow, would you say? Um, I think you can use more your feelings than the word sensual. Feelings, yeah, it's sensual. It's more feelings. It's, it's more, more feelings, sexy, no? Uh, <laughs> it's, no. Not, it's, it's not, okay, it's not, because you remember, <laughs> remember the lambada? Yes. Yeah, the lambada was considered to be like a, uh, uh, a forbidden dance, like a sexual, sexual sensual dance. dance. Yes. So kizomba and lambada is completely different. Complete different things. Yes. So it's not a sexy sensual thing. No, it's not. Okay. Very cool. All right. So uh, stick and stay with us. We're going to be right back, and we'll talk a little bit more. Uh, talk a little bit more about kizomba. All right. Come back to the show, DJ Mag. Sexual sensual.